ukulele. I said I liked playing ukulele in the last video, but I for, think I forgot to say that I actually plan to do that kind of thing in my videos, because it's fun. Also, a question of the day at the end, because why not? Hey y'all, I'm Chris, and today I'm talking about Jam, a book by Yahtzee Croshaw. This is like if you took the humor from Shaun of the Dead and put it in Sharknado? And then those characters were playing a game of The Floor is Lava. Except The Floor is actually lava. Yeah, this is a weird book, but oh wow, it is hilarious. I was literally laughing out loud many times during this book. Mwah. I got a little advice suggesting that when I do the summary of the book, I should, uh, you know, not have my script here. Now, I kind of thought it was a fun little prop, but you know what? We're going to try it. I'm just going to try it without the script today. Now, this will be a bit more difficult, so I'm going to need to power up for this. I don't have any Super Saiyan hair, so I'm just going to wear this hat. Australia has been covered in three feet of man-eating jam. Gasp! Our hapless narrator, Travis, and some people who happen to live in the same building must survive the most ridiculous apocalypse that I've ever read about, anyway. On their quest to survive, they will join, battle, and then rejoin a cult that only, ironically, conducts human sacrifice and a tribe of office workers who are seeking corporate expansion via conquest. Oh, I hope I don't have hat hair too bad. The cast of characters here is the most wonderful combination of any comedic apocalypse medium story thing that I've heard, read, or watched. There's Travis, who is the main character, and I suppose he's sort of the person that the audience is supposed to get behind and relate to, because he's also the narrator. Now, this was kind of cool, because the fact that it was a first-person book added a bit of extra novelty with it, because things that I read are so often in third-person. There's also Travis's friend, Tim, who is that guy who wants to be in an apocalypse because he thinks that he'll be in charge of all the settlement stuff. Dawn is the kind of guy who is just fed up with everyone and angry at everything, and... I definitely see him having resting bitch face. Then Angela is a Starbucks employee who fancies herself a documentarian, and her deal is that she walks around with a camcorder recording every single thing, and she wants to get to the bottom of the jam apocalypse. And that goes into our final two characters, X and Y, like the letters. They obviously had something to do with the jam. It's not even a spoiler to tell you that, because they are so terrible at lying. It is... Comical, truly, and leads to wonderful shenanigans of Angela being like, I know you had something to do with the jam. I deny everything. It's great stuff. The most wonderful thing about jam is the language that the author uses, his writer's voice, if you will. He tells the story in a way that is unique and clever and so very imaginative and colorful language. He describes outlandish and horrible things in such an irreverent and almost flippant way that it's right, it fits right into the kind of comedy that I like. And he sets up these dramatic situations, you know, all books gotta have a little drama, and then just smacks it down with a comedy hammer, but never undercuts the dramatic tension. It's The, the comedy serves as the drama's payoff. Masterful. Bravo. So yes, definitely read Jam by Yahtzee Croshaw. Fantastic book. I don't have a single bad thing to say about it. Must read, highly recommend, all that jazz. And now for a question of the day, because we're doing that now. What's your favorite flavor of jam? I like strawberry. So now you know that about me. Okay. Bye. Actually, I just got this idea. I'm going to kind of play us out and do a little fade at the end. Music, music, and a ukulele. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Not that good yet, but I'm getting... Oh, wait, that... Is that... Nope, that was right. First time. <laughs>